Hello interwebs, this is just a project share. Um, I have been kind of bored and with not having a project, so I thought myself up a project. Um, I made bookmarks to just give away to the people in my community center. Nothing huge, but you know, I thought maybe some of the backgrounds might give you some inspiration or if you're wanting to make bookmarks and maybe give you an idea, you know, as well. So nothing, you know, super spectacular there, you know, I do have a few favorites, but um, if this ain't your thing, then go on to another video. <laughs> so there's quite a few here, so I'm just going to briefly kind of let you look over. Some I did just stamping, some I did actual backgrounds, some I glued um, old book covers, like, you know, the pictures that you can take off from the uh, cover. This one, I did a little bit of embossing on the um, Dreamcatcher itself. Then I just, I didn't do anything to the back. You know, if I got messed up, it got messed up. And they're all stamped. Well, except for the ones that are in black uh, cardstock, but all the ones that can't be, they're stamped with that stamp. This one, yeah, I know it's a horse's butt, but <laughs> um, I thought it was still really pretty, though. And surprisingly, I really like the way this one turned out. So all I did was just, you know, take a stamp and then go back in with a hot pink pan and color in between. And I like it. I think it looked pretty in blue as well. Um, so the ones like these, I glue down or whatever, um, music paper first, and then I put gesso over it. I like how this one turned out, too. <clears throat> Alright, this one, just use a stencil and, uh, my, um, shaving foam brush. That's basically that's technically what it is, but it does really good for uh, ink and stuff too. Because I always have trouble with stencils. If I try to spray, it always gets up under there. It looks a mess. Um, almost everything I've tried, but so far this is the best method for me. So I'm glad I found something. This one technically start off with a book page. You probably can't see it on camera. Like there's some of the words right there. And then up here is an owl. But still, I like it. This one I took um, the brick stencil, used gesso. And homemade, homemade ink sprays. This one I did um, embossing first. It didn't completely uh, stamp down or take or whatever in certain spots, but I kind of like the effect, so it worked for me. That's all shiny and sparkly. <laughs> <coughs> this one, I had gotten some Alice in Wonderland stamps I've been dying to try out. haven't had a specific project to use or anything that they would go with. So I said, fuck it, and it just kind of made one up. Alright, I don't, I hate when people read to me on a video, so I'm not going to read to you. I really like this one too, how it turned out. Most of these I did with a ribbon or um, baker swine. Some I did punch uh, oh the eyelets and used uh, jump rings. Like this one has a little princess charm on it. And it's just little swirlies. I couldn't really do a whole bunch of like <clears throat> men's um, 
I don't really have a whole lot of, you know, masculine stamps, but this is one of the few ones I do have. And I have like this little suitcase has like uh, London, Hong Kong, something. I don't know. I can't really see it from this angle, but this one I just decided to staple. Um, I colored all my staples with different colors of nail polishes, like, I don't know, like 17 different colors. Um, this one is like a lavender. And I took a extra piece of ribbon and extra pieces of a uh, seam binding. This one of the stencil didn't turn out as well, but you know, hey, whatever. Somebody will like it. And I'm camera for already done a video on the because I did it in like two different stages. So, if you've already seen these, I'm sorry, but they kind of go with it. I don't know how well it's picking up on the camera, but it the um, <clears throat> glittery embossing powder, it made it kind of uh, holographic. So, I thought that was really cool. Alright, this one was just a spare piece. Like, that was just slipped over, but I didn't want to let it go to waste, so. I really like this one. I think it's really cool. It's really shiny. I do um, my own homemade ink sprays and I use uh, uh, eyeshadow, obviously, and it makes it really freaking sparkly. <laughs> this one I just took like, I had a whole bunch of strips and I just glued them all down and used some uh, nail art hearts right there. All right, and the last two. All right, this one has an owl. I don't know how it sounds to y'all, but to me it sounds like I'm saying, like, all, like, all. <laughs> O-W-L, owl. All right. This one, I was just experimenting with, um, you know, running the paint or the ink or whatever. And I don't know if you could tell right there, it looks like a dude on a camel. Like, a, you know, like he's wearing a turban. And I, know, I thought I just, I thought it just kind of turned out kind of neat. Down here, I don't know, whatever, but it works. It's a bookmark. <laughs> if they don't like it, oh well, they ain't, they ain't got to take it. Um, like I said, just the main purpose of this was just something for me to do. So, um, but fortunately I do have a couple of projects that I just picked up. Um, the lady that took my family's portraits, uh, I made her a junk journal. Like just real simple, nothing super fancy or anything, but she's not an artsy crafty kind of person. Luckily for me. <laughs> And she loved hers, and she wants me to make two more for her daughters, which are like 18 and 15. So that's why uh, that's there. Also, that's there because I found uh, this uh, backsplash sticker thing or something. Or, yeah. I'm um, supposed to go over, like, where your stove is or, like, where your sink is or whatever. So crap doesn't get on your wall. I found it at Dollar Tree, but I thought it'd be good for protecting my desk but I didn't want like this big huge glare thing going on so I stuck this book down there but this one um her 18 year old is you know girly princessy glittery um loves pink and black you know type <laughs> so I'm probably gonna use my um once upon a time paper 
for her, you know, because it has like castles and princess stuff and crowns and <clears throat> things like that. So I'll probably use that for her. And then her other daughter, I'm not exactly sure. Um, she just gave me like a basic rundown. Like her other daughter is like, you know, a little bit geeky, um, likes to sing, uh, likes Pretty Little Liars, things like that. I've never personally watched the show, so I have no idea. But anyway, um, I was thinking of, this is the cover for this book, and, but I don't know. I really don't know. I probably won't because just to be on the safe side, because, you know, there's different types of geeky, like, you know, there's computer, there's um, anime, there's uh technically I guess steampunk would be considered geeky or whatever um robots you know just all kinds of stuff so I don't know anyway I'm tired I'm babbling anyway that is them they'll be going to my community center probably tomorrow or the next day or right after Christmas because uh now that they're made I need to get out of my house so anyway, hopefully I gave you an idea on the background or, you know, whatever. Help you out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.